as a woman when i first stepped out on the streets with the ability to understand what the society's gestures expressions and underlying tones meant i realized man being a woman is a difficult thing go back a few words man men must have it so easy that's what i thought that's what i thought for the longest time with the shackles of misogyny patriarchy chauvinism and 10 other jargons we never really deemed important to look up the meaning for agreeing to the commonly misinformed i always thought that men were born with a sense of entitlement in this world until now until this five things we hear growing up five things society says to men who try to grow up one men don't cry because women have monopoly over the tears because emotions are just another cover up for weakness well guess what when kevin failed in 5th grade he didn't cry when kevin's mother left him he didn't cry when kevin's girlfriend died he didn't cry when kevin committed suicide he wondered who would cry two all men are dogs they are animals praying looking for their next target the next woman to lie cheat harass or betray well certainly because one man or two or 20 lakh men is all it takes to define an entire freaking gender because the loyalty faithfulness and everything wonderful that a man's best friend is is shoved under the carpet because that one dog couldn't stop humping three be a man said the father who was never there said the alcoholic uncle who couldn't stop staring at the blouse of his neighbor's daughter be a man what an ideal to set for a 13 year old boy who is shaving his non-existent mustache who's experimenting with the protruding parts of his body who is so awkward being around the members of the opposite sex who is struggling to be a teenager in the first place four real men finish last ah because at the end of the day that's all that matters your ability to stop your ability from doing its job so hold it hold it tight masculinity is a word humanity is another so our love care and compassion so maybe if you dear society get over what the first one means to you you'll see what the next few mean to the rest of us five men will be men i say they should be A man should be a man when he sheds his first tear when he cries his eyes out. A man should be a man and not a dog or a pig or any other animal you could possibly generalize. A man should be a man when his father comes home drunk and raises his hand. A man should be a man when his daughter brings home a boy. A man should be a man when he's in bed with the woman he loves, cherishes and appreciates. A man should be a man. And before everything else, a man is a human too. So don't get me wrong. I'm not here trying to change any definitions. This is me trying to fix the misconceptions not for them the society but for me. So the day that I bring home a boy, my father shakes his hand and does not ask for the balance in his bank or what his father does for a living. This one is for all the young girls pretending they have no male friends because their fathers cannot stand the idea that his daughter is safe with them and from them. This one is for all the young men becoming predators forgetting that they were victims first victims of society's norms from the moment they were born so don't get me wrong this is not a debate about feminism or a million other isms this is about unlearning years of conditioning and apathy and instead learning about kindness and empathy we need to liberate our souls from what it is to be a he or a she and see what it is to be you and me so this time let's make it about humanity